One of the other things that Mike said to me, he said, I want to talk about networking and I want you to set the room on fire tonight. So guys, I need your help with this. Can we tonight set this room on fire? Can we do it? That's much better. So setting your own networking objective really does allow you to go, what do I need to do and why? Who else has got some networking tips? Because I'm sure out in the room there, you can throw me some tips. Actually, my favourite biscuit, you might want to write this one down, Bob, guys. My favourite biscuit is plain chocolate hobnobs. So that's what I asked for. Guess what turned up two minutes later? Plain chocolate. I'm like, wow, this is good. Anyway. What do you think his social media was all about? Bitching, moaning and whinging. So, do you now think that guy had any credibility in my eyes? I'd no longer believe anything he ever said. When we come back to referrals, somebody said earlier, make them specific, almost make them bizarrely specific. So a photographer that I used to know, he would stand up in a meeting like this and he'd say, he'd like to meet any business people that you know at networking meetings that got mud on their shoes or pet hair on their trousers. It says up there, the elevator to success is out of order. And it is, guys. There is no magic trick. You have to get there one step at a time. That's kind of the end of the story, but before we finish, we need to deal with this. So I'm absolutely adamant that, you know, all this thinking, all this positive thinking here, we can get this candle out. Do we agree with that? Okay, right, guys. We've had a couple of silly little practices. On the count of three, we are going to put this candle out, okay? One, focus now. Two, Really concentrate. Three, go. Oh, come on, guys, really? Really? Sometimes you have to take action. <laughs> Thought is not enough.